On this solemn day, we commemorate the more than six million Jews and 500,000 Roma and Sinti who were murdered during the Holocaust. We also remember the many LGBTQ plus persons, the persons with disabilities and political dissidents persecuted and killed by the Nazis and their collaborators in the horrific crimes against humanity. I want to thank, of course, for today, the members of the National Holocaust Monument Committee and their partners for bringing us together to stand united on this important occasion, the 79th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau where over a few short years, over a million men, women, and children were murdered. I want to, and indeed I know that all of you want to, acknowledge the Holocaust survivors, those who may be here with us today and their families, and those across Canada, and thank them for continuing to instruct us and inspire us. These brave and determined people who emerged from our darkest period in history to build a better, world, a better world for all of us. We must learn from them, especially right now. Because as you all know, this year's commemoration has a particularly somber tone almost a foreboding. Due to the alarming rise in anti-Semitism around the world, and even more sadly here in our own precious Canada, my appointment as Special Envoy comes at a critical time. But I would add that it is a critical time for all of you. None of us could have imagined the brutality of the Hamas attack on Israelis nor the anti-Semitism across the globe that quickly followed. Jews in Canada and around the world remain in an extended period, an extended state of mourning and agonizing grief and fear, both because of the horrific massacre of October 7th and the ongoing captivity of the hostages, but also due due to the reactions of denial, justification, <clears throat> and unimaginably even celebration of these horrible events. <clears throat> the not believing of Jewish women who were so brutally sexually assaulted, what has happened to our world? The rise in anti-Semitism serves as an urgent call to action for all of us a reminder that that flame of remembrance that Annette mentioned must not only reflect the past, but it has to illuminate our way into the future. We as Canadians cannot and we will not let the truth of the Holocaust be distorted nor be denied. It is our individual and collective responsibility to do so. The truth of the Holocaust the stories of the survivors will live on here in Canada.